All right, so we're back one more time. This will allow us to get to our um, final one, which is a D latch. And this is the final bit of latch um, uh, memory units. We are not going to deal with a lot of latches. We really want to deal with flip flops. Those are the nicer ones. Um, we actually return to latches in advanced digital logic. Um, latches are really quick, but they're kind of dangerous. So we're going to use latches to build something safe called a flip flop. But to do those, we're going to make this D version first. Now, all we're going to do, this is an SR latch with enable right in here. So you'll notice I have my S and R and enable labeled as inputs coming in. Kind of dotted the box to remind you it's this whole thing now. Um, and yes, I forgot to erase those. That nah, doesn't really matter. Um, you know, it's basically this whole little bit that we did in the last video. Get rid of all that junk. Um, Oops. God damn it. It doesn't want me to delete that one. There we go. Um, so it's this whole bit. So we can just reference once we get S, um, R, and enable entered into the value spaces here. We can just go look it up in the table here and find out what our Qs and Q primes are going to be. Um, since I only have two inputs now, um, I've got a simpler setup, and enable is going to function just like enable did, so D will be our only interesting thing. What we've done with D is we forced it. Um, S is hooked right to D, and um, R is hooked to D prime. So S and R are always going to be opposite of each other. There's just no options. So um, that means the 0, 0, and the 1, 1 case are impossible. So you can't do the illegal thing. You also can't do hold. But that doesn't matter because we can do hold by turning enable off. So we haven't lost any functionality other than the illegal case. So that's kind of a, a nice feature to what we can do here. So you've kind of got a, a error proof version of um, your SR latch where you can set a value with this and you can allow it to turn on here and you just set what value you want. And that's essentially what we're going to find here. Um, Okay, uh, it's sticking my, my timer in the bottom corner. Sorry, I didn't mean to block you. Uh, so let's go in and start taking a look at the individual values. So we first want to take a look when enable is equal to zero. Let me get my magic pen here. Okay, that did not write so well. Let's try that again. There we go. There's my awesome pen. Um, so the zero just carries immediately through to enable here. And so enable zero going into SR latch with enable means it's going to do a hold. So this will be whatever our previous values were. Okay, if uh, enable then goes to a one, that one gets copied through. I've got one coming in. Now I can set my D value. My D value initially we want to try is zero. which means S will be zero and R, it gets flipped, becomes a one. Now, if I've got um, enable on and SR is equal to zero one, SR equals zero one is a reset, which means your Q ends up being zero and Q prime is one. Now, if go to the next case, we'll let D equal a one. If D is a one, then S is a one. Your R is the opposite, it's zero. So I've got enable, set, not reset. So I get enable, set, not reset. That does a set, so Q is one, Q prime is zero. Q is one, Q 
two buttons here. I guess it could have gone here too. Oh. But essentially it gives me the value. So we call this D for data. You're putting your data in. Whatever's the value of the data on the data line is what Q is about to be. When data is zero, Q is going to be zero. When data is one, Q is about to become one. And it only does it if the enable is turned on. That makes our, our D latches really nice and easy. And the enable allows us to control the time. So we now have an ability to set a uh, time interval. And we can basically hold whenever it's zero. And we will use this in a little bit here to basically get our clock. Um, since I'm going to be on a separate page, it'll be harder to do this kind of split screen thing. But I think this is easy enough to remember. So just kind of commit this to your memory. Um, Enable is zero, it holds. Doesn't matter what D is, completely irrelevant. Enable is zero, it's a hold. If enable is a one, whatever is D, that's what Q is going to become. Um, and now it can change as often as it wants, as long as enable is equal to one. So there's no time control on enable one. We're going to try to add that in the, the next little segment. So uh, stay tuned. <laughs>